edify somebody's faith. This evening, hallelujah. So, this last weekend, I thought uh, I was on an assignment for that which I was supposed to do. But as God would have it, He used the time to restore and to unite. And um, there was a broken link in my family, I would say. But I really just want to thank God for what He did during the past weekend. Um, yet again, He showed Himself mighty. He really proved Himself to be a God who answers prayer. One of my prayer points, especially during the strategic prayer meetings, was for unity in the family, for love in the family. And God was true to his word. And I really just want to return the glory unto God that indeed I was reunited with and to my family as per God's purpose and plan for my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Good evening, Apostle. Good evening, Prophetess. Good evening, Kriyant. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I want to thank God for... Firstly, I want to thank him for... Last week, I was supposed to have an online class. We were asked to suggest dates on when the class should be held. And then I decided we must have it on Monday, but everyone voted that we should have it Sunday evening. And Sunday evening, we are supposed to have our strategic prayers, the last one. So uh, I was like, <laughs> it's the month of victory. It didn't really bother me, though the class was very, very important because we needed it for to be told on what we're supposed to write, a test. Mm. So, so I don't know what happened. I, the whole time class was on as planned on Sunday, but I believe it's God's grace that he decided to change the class to a face-to-face -face class. The lecturer just decided, no, we are no more having the class. And I just really want to thank God that I didn't miss out in that class. Amen. Amen. And secondly, also I want to thank God on Saturday evening, the other Saturday evening, we were, after setup, we had prayers, evening prayers. Um, Apostle told us to pray he told us to worship God. Then we were just praying, praying. In the middle of praying, I started feeling nauseous. And I went to the bathroom. When I went to the bathroom, I could only hear Apostle praying and praying. It's like he's in the bathroom praying to me. And it, it was really intense for me. And I started doing what happens after being nauseous. And I really want to thank God because I believe it's deliverance. I don't know from what, but I know it's in the month of victory. I just want to thank God too.
everything was clear. Okay. And especially today, uh, I wrote biology, and I was already tired from all the exams that I had previously written, so I just wanted to get everything over and done with. So last night as I was studying, I was just like, God, I'm leaving this moment because I served on your altar, yeah. come through for me. Yeah. And when I got the paper this morning, and as I was flipping through it, I said, but I know everything here, and I was just writing until time ended, so I just want to thank God for that.
beyond your imagination. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I also welcome those who are online. God bless you. Thank you, Prophet, for leading us in that powerful worship. Amen. And logistic and patience, thank you all for coming to set up our head. It's made life easy for all of us. Amen. Amen. So let's go to the word of God. We're going to read two scriptures tonight. Two scriptures tonight. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 14. We read from verse 30 to 31. Then we'll continue into Exodus 15. It's actually 1 to 11, but I will just read few. Then we'll continue. If you are there, can I hear you? Amen. 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 Exodus 14, 30 to 31. The Bible says, So the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Thus Israel saw the great work which the Lord has done in Egypt. So the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servants. Let's thank you for your word. Speak to us tonight. Do what you have planned to do and we shall go home singing a new song, a song of victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody give a victorious shout. Hallelujah. So tonight is a special night, as we have been told, is a prophetic night. It is the night of our songs of victory. Hallelujah. So now at this point, I want you to be deliberate to say, this is my appointment. This service is for me. Can you help me take the microphone? Just give me the one of the prophet. You can give her this one to sing as you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, you see, when you go to a specialist or to a medical doctor, you see a lot of people in the queue. You are waiting for your turn. At that point, you are not bothered about how full or how empty the clinic is. You are just interested in seeing the doctor. Are you with me? Even when you are going, if you don't make an appointment, somewhere in your mind you will be praying, let there be less people or nobody at all. Or let me be the first. Yeah. You are not bothered about who comes and who is not there. That's the mindset I want you to have. Yes. So as you are sitting, you may have come together from home. But allow your partner, tell your partner, allow me at this point on my special appointment. We shall meet after the service. Let me get all I will get. You get all that you will get. Uh, uh, at the end of the service, we shall compare notes. We shall compare notes. But for now, it is me and my God. It is me and my Father. Hallelujah. For those who are online, do not let anything disturb you at this moment. Hallelujah. So the Lord instructed us to take this prophetic step. He said that day, which is today, is dedicated and is assigned as a night of song of victory. Amen. And when I heard, I said, okay, Lord, I did not even spend time to ask, oh Lord, what are the details? Yeah. Yes. Uh, because when you deal with the Lord, you don't need to break your head with details. Yes. You are just interested in the final outcome. Mm. Why would I break my head yeah. with how Princess Sharon cooked macaroni salad? <laughs> All I just want is to eat. Yes. 
When you go to the restaurant, if it's not your your, your profession, you are not interested. You are just interested in the in the outcome. And the Lord said, I want you to take this prophetic step. And when you take it, he promised that we shall experience victory in totality. The victory that he has given to us. Now, you know from scriptures, when God gives or when God is about to do something unique, he always gives prophetic instruction. Prophetic instructions are commands and direction which God gives through his men of God to his people. And it requires immediate action. Hallelujah. If you study the Bible, when God is about to do something, he will give an instruction. Right. Either through the angel, either through the men or women of God, either through his voice directly. And such words require immediate action immediate action immediate obedience so when the Lord spoke we have to do this immediately we, we, we could have waited till Sunday but we said no we are doing it immediately hallelujah and when you obey prophetic instruction as it is giving something unusual will happen hallelujah so tonight I know you are going to experience God in an unusual way in the name of Jesus tonight God is set to do something great in your life he's ready to do something great in this ministry and I pray that your obedience will lead to the fulfillment of God's word in the name of Jesus God told Noah build the heart he obeyed himself and his family we are saved. He told Elijah two prophetic instructions when there was drought. Go to the woman. I have prepared the woman for you. He obeyed and he was able to eat. Joshua received prophetic instruction. Move around the town. Seven times he got his victory. Peter was stranded. He got a prophetic instruction. Put your net this place launched into the deep and he got a great miraculous cash. Tonight, the prophetic instruction for us is to sing song of freedom. And that is what we are here to do. Everyone that received prophetic instruction obey and they receive from God. Tonight, as we operate in obedience, and in faith, I want you to expect a supernatural work of God in the name of Jesus. By the time you live here tonight, your victory will be set to you. By the time you live here tonight, everything concerning you shall be perfected in the name of Jesus. So the Lord said, sing songs of victory. And when you talk about a song, a song is more than just a melody or a rhythm. A song is an expression of the art. A song is a powerful tool for communication. A song is a vessel for releasing emotions. Some people when they sing, they use song to express their emotions. Some sing to remember their pain or to remember the good old days. Some sing to express their pain. So they, there are different ways of song. There are songs of deliverance. But tonight we are talking about the song of victory. And when you talk about song of victory. What is a song of victory? A song of victory is a song that is used to appreciate God for his mighty words. It's a song that attributes the victory you have experienced to God. A song of victory is a song that is sung in faith proclaiming that God has given you victory even from the foundation of the earth. It's a song that is calling on God to manifest himself as a God who can give victory. And people in the scripture sing song of victory at different times. 
For some, after deliverance, they sing song of victory. For some, after battle, when God gave them, they, they went the Lord defeat the enemy, they sing the song of victory. And there are some who sing the song of victory in anticipation of the victory they will get. That was the case of King Jehoshaphat. He went singing the song of victory even before the enemy was defeated. So there are people here, you have experienced victory. Though it has not manifested, your singing tonight is to tell God, I appreciate what you have done. And you will make sure that victory is manifested. Somebody promise you a new shoe because your shoe is old and you heard the person has promised you the new shoe. And somebody is supposed to give you the shoe and they have not given you the shoe. But you believe the one who promised you the shoe has released the shoe. Do you know the best way to get the shoe? Is to go with your own shoe. To the one who promised you the shoe. To go and say thank you for the new shoe you have given to me. And he will look at your feet and say, excuse me, you are thanking me for the shoe. Where is the shoe? And you say, no, I is here to be delivered. Do you know what he will do? He will call the person he has to give you the shoe. So tonight, if God has said, I'm giving you the victory, and you are yet to see it manifest, we are seeking some of victory. We are telling God, I thank you for the victory. And the revelation, he sent his angel to deliver the victory for you. Maybe there's someone here, you are still anticipating the victory, just like your old Jehoshaphat. You still feel that all you have to do is to sing the song of victory and God will make sure that victory will manifest because as you begin to sing the song of victory it will strengthen your faith somebody's faith will be strengthened tonight your faith will be strengthened tonight in the name of Jesus as you sing the song of victory your joy will be overflowing tonight somebody's joy will overflow Because when you see your song of victory, we encourage somebody. God has created you to be an encourager. And I pray as you release the song of victory into the atmosphere, somebody's faith will be affected and they will be lifted up. And lastly, as you sing this song of victory, you are declaring the power of God. And there is no way you call upon God and God will not respond. Because our God is not deaf. He can hear. He can hear when his children call upon him. So tonight, as you lift up your voice, singing the song of victory, expect perfection in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. So in Exodus chapter 14, Verse 30 to 31. The Bible says, So the Lord saved Israel. That day, somebody said that day. The Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of Egyptian. And the Bible said, Israel saw the Egyptian dead on the seashore. They saw the great hand of God and the people feared the Lord and they believed the Lord and the Son. I am here to announce you tonight that your dark day is here. That day is here for you. Say on that day, the Lord performed a mighty.
like jellyfish. They will come and confess. Amen. You will see them removing the blockage they have put that you will not pass. For some of you, you will see where they have said no, they begin to call you and say yes. yes. For some of you, there are things you have forgotten. You have forgotten, you think, I, I, I give it to God. I give it to God. But tonight, God is still
to verse 11. Later, this is going to be your song tonight. And I'm going to lead us prophetically. So make sure your Bible is ready when you will begin to sing your song of victory. Hallelujah. So they sang this song to the Lord. They gave glory unto the Lord. And the Lord is telling you, child of God, I have destroyed your enemy. I have silenced your enemy. All you need to do is to believe and see it with the eye of the Spirit. The children of Israel saw the victory and they sang a song of victory. The question is, are you ready to rise up in faith and sing the song of victory? Hallelujah. It was not only Moses. There were many people who got victory and they sang the song of victory. In Judges chapter 5, the Bora and Barak, they sang the song of victory when God gave them victory. In Caesarea, King David, sang the song of victory. Mary, the mother of Jesus, sang the song of victory. So tonight, God has given you victory. And he's ready to hear you sing to him, acknowledging the victory he has given unto you. On that day,
Jesus. And today, because the Lord has chosen you, He will perfect everything that concerns you. He will perfect everything that concerns you. The Lord will set to you. The Lord will set to you. He has given you victory, and that victory shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Let's rise up on our feet to do that. Begin to take God, take God, take God for the victory. Yeah. 
On Sunday, last week, this Sunday, we were told God is working it out. All things is working out for my good. That is a English to the help me. Continuous. Present. Present continuous. Now, after this victory, we are moving from present continuous. So we call it, it's, a, it's not a past tense. Or what do you call it? It's continuous. So, what I'm saying is, God has worked it. Yeah. <laughs> Was working, but it has worked out. Yeah. God was busy working, yeah. but he has perfected. Yeah. He has worked it out. Yeah. After you have sung the song of victory, yeah. your language must remain in that frequency. Yeah. You are not permitted to listen to the devil. Yes. He has been defeated. Yes. You are not permitted to listen to the flesh. He has been defeated. Yes. You are more than a conqueror. God has worked it out. He has given you that victory. Keep on singing that song. Keep on singing that song. Keep on singing that song. And you will see how the power of God. In the name of Jesus, on that day, and today is the day that we can say concerning this assignment, mission accomplished. Yes! <laughs> 
from the side of the Lord. We want to thank God for this prophetic service. Apostle, thank you for hearing the Lord and for not delaying. For quick obedience, we give God all the glory. Like you were saying at the beginning, when you go to the place where you get your blessings, you are not bothered who is there and who is not there. It is about you and the person giving it to you. And tonight we came to receive from the Lord. I believe things will change in our families. I believe things have changed in our finances. I believe things have changed in our offices. Things have changed in our health. Things have changed in our children. We are people called winners. We are victorious. And we give God all the glory. We shall continually testify of his goodness. And so we have come to the end of this service. We thank God for what he has done. We thank God for his servant that he has used tonight to bless us all. This coming Sunday is the 1st of September. It's the 1st of September. Now normally in the world it is celebration of spring. It's celebration of spring. We will hear what the theme is for this Sunday. I believe the man of God will let us know the month that we are entering in. Oh, people miss church and they don't want to sit again. <laughs> so we will hear before the end of, of this, before we get to, to Sunday, we will hear what the Sunday is all about. But again, it will be a glorious Sunday. We will come in our light colors. Again. Yeah. Uh, we will, whatever, white, blue, red, whatever, we will come with that. Please, oh, I'll take you on Sunday. <laughs> but we are coming on Sunday to celebrate the goodness of God. We will hear what it is all about. And also for the month of September, Normally it's our conference month, it's our anniversary month. So we don't fast uh, in the month of, of September. We don't fast food, we fast sleep. Yeah, in September we fast sleep. So from the 1st of September, uh, we will be waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning for our prayers. That's what we are fasting. We are fasting sleep in September. So the first few days of September, we will be fasting sleep starting from the 1st of September. The program will be out. We will hear how many days we are fasting, uh, but definitely we are starting Sunday morning. So if you wake up Sunday 4 o'clock, don't go over sleep now for the Sunday service. Yeah, Sunday service will still take place, and it's a glorious Sunday service. It's the first of September, of the new month we are entering in, we will hear what the month is all about. So please prepare ourselves. We are fasting, sleep, we are coming online for prayers, 4 o'clock in the morning to pray together. And then on behalf of, of Apostle, myself, and all the women on the threshing floor, we want to invite you all Saturday to the women on the threshing floor semi-finale of the year because we normally conclude in October because November is EFP. So we conclude in October. So this Friday, we are having the second last face-to-face uh, -face of the year. We have got anointed women of God of which some are from the Royal House and are also part of the women on the threshing floor. So please, Saturday morning, Let's come together 10 o'clock to the, to the Royal House as we come and celebrate and see how God is slaying giants. The theme is stepping out in faith, slaying giants. God will reveal to us the giants that are hindering us from taking territory. And he's using different vessels on that morning to, to, to tell us what the Lord has laid on their hearts. So please, please invite friends, invite family, share the flyer, and let's all come 
together. Women on the threshing floor is a sibling of abundant life ministries. We are family. So let's all come together and celebrate the goodness of God on that Saturday. And then on Friday, um, if you are not very busy, 6 o'clock, please, or maybe uh, just, the, just the audacious youth, let's come together and just uh, set up the place for Saturday so that on Saturday